Hello students, in this video we will be seeing about previous NEET uh, question papers and particularly we will be focusing on the topic called capacitors. So before going inside the questions, let us have a statistical analysis about the previous year question papers uh, like in what topics particularly in capacitors majority of questions were coming. So if you see the topic called capacitors, we have three different topics. Uh, in that first one is combination of capacitors, second one is energy stored in a capacitor and third one is capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with and without dielectric medium between the plates. So if you have a look uh, for the past 33 years, majority of questions were coming from uh, energy stored in a capacitor. So around 44 percentage of questions were coming from that and uh, the next majority of questions were coming from capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with and without dielectric medium between the plates. So around 37 percentage of questions were coming from that and uh, the next uh, majority of questions were coming from combination of capacitors around 19 percentage of questions were coming from that. So if you see on a whole for the past 33 years uh, the majority of questions were coming from these two topics mainly energy stored in a capacitor and uh, capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with and without dielectric medium between the plates. And if you see the for the past 8 years, uh, the majority of questions were coming only from these two topics. Uh, around 70 percentage of questions were coming from capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with and without dielectric medium and uh, rest of the 30 percentage were coming from uh, energy stored in a capacitor. So this was the scenario for the last 8 years. So let us now go to the first question. Three capacitors, each of capacitance C and breakdown voltage V are joined in series. The capacitance and breakdown voltage of the combination will be. So here what they are saying is they are uh, uh, saying that three capacitors, each of capacitance C and breakdown voltage V are joined in series. So the effective capacitance will be can be calculated as 1 by C is equal to 1 by C plus 1 by C plus 1 by C. So this will become 3 by C or C effective will be C by 3. Okay. And uh, similarly the breakdown voltage V dash will be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So here it is V plus V plus V so which is equal to 3V. So the capacitance will be C by 3 and the breakdown voltage will be 3V. So this is for the combination of the three capacitors which are connected in series. So the correct answer is C by 3 and 3V, option number C. Okay, it is just a simple substitution of the uh, capacitance formula. Since it is connected in series, you will be having 1 by C plus 1 by C plus 1 by C and the breakdown voltage will be V1 plus V2 plus V3. Okay. Let us now move on to the next question. A network of 4 capacitors of capacities equal to C1 equal to C, C2 equal to 2C, C3 equal to 3C and C4 equal to 4C are connected to a battery as shown in the figure. The ratio of the charge on C2 and C4 is so here if you see the charge flowing uh, through C4 is, so charge flowing through C4 is uh, Q4 equal to C4 into V which is equal to 4 CV. Okay. So for the series combination of C1 and C2 and C3 you will be having 1 by C equivalent equal to 1 by C plus 1 by 2C plus 1 by 3C. So if you solve this, you will be getting it as 6C by 11. Okay. Now you are going to find out the C equivalent and C4 for parallel combination. So C dash is equal to C equivalent plus C4 which is equal to 6C11 plus 4C. 
So, if you solve this, you will be getting it as 50 C by 11. So, the net charge, net charge is given by, net charge is given by Q is equal to C dash V. So, which is equal to 50 by 11 C V. So, the total charge flowing through C 1, C 2 and C 3 will be Q dash is equal to Q minus Q 4. So, this is the total charge which is flowing through C 1, C 2, C 3. So, if you substitute the value of Q, it is 50 by 11 C V minus the Q 4 value is 4 C V. Okay. So, if you have to substitute here 4 C V. So, on solving this, you will be getting it as 6 C V by 11. As you can see, C 1, C 2 and C 3 are in series combination, the charge flowing through them will be same. So, from equations uh, 1, so that is this is 1 and uh, this is 2, we can uh, find out the required ratio. Okay. So, they want us to find out the ratio on the charge C 2 and C 4. So, just you have to divide 6 C V by 11 divided by 4 C V. So, if you solve this, you will be getting it as 3 by 22. So, the required ratio of charge on C 2 and C 4 is 3 by 22. So, the correct answer is option number 2. Okay. So, let us now move on to the next question. Three capacitors, each of capacity 4 microfarad are to be connected in such a way that the effective capacitance is 6 microfarad. This can be done by connecting all of them in series, connecting them in parallel, connecting 2 in series and 1 in parallel, connecting 2 in parallel and 1 in series. Okay. So, here what they are saying is 2 capacitors are connected uh, in such a way that the effective capacitance is 6 microfarad. Okay. So, first thing is 3 capacitors. So, you are having like when you are connecting first 2 capacitors uh, of 4 microfarad in uh, series, what will happen is 1 by C s will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. So, which will be equal to 1 by 2 microfarad. Okay. And uh, when a third condenser or a third capacitor is joined in parallel, what happens is C p will become C s plus 4. So, this will become 2 plus 4 because here C s is 2 microfarad. So, when you add uh, 1 condenser in parallel, you will be getting the total as 6 microfarad. Okay. So, in this case what happens is you have to connect 2 in series and 1 in parallel. So, that the net effective capacitance will be 6 microfarad. Okay. It is a very simple question. Uh, you can just see it again. You are having 3 capacitors, each of capacity 4 microfarad, which are to be connected in such a way that the effective capacitance should be 6 microfarad. So, if you connect 2 capacitors in series, you will be getting the effective capacitance as 2 microfarad and the other one you can connect it in the, in the uh, you can connect it as a parallel capacitor. So, you will be getting the total effective capacitance as 6 microfarad. So, the correct answer is option number C where you have to connect 2 in series and 1 in parallel. Okay. Let us now move on to the next question. A capacitor of capacity C 1 charged up to V volt and then connected to an uncharged capacitor of capacity C 2. The final potential difference across each will be. So, here as potential difference across each capacitor is common, we can consider C 1 and C 2 to be connected in parallel with each other. Okay. So, as C 1 is charged and C 2 is uncharged, your Q 1 will become Q 1 is equal to C 1 V and Q 2 will be 0. So, Q will be Q 1 plus Q 2. So, which is equal to C 1 V. So, the total capacitance of combination, total capacitance of combination total capacitance of combination will be C is equal to C p which is equal to C 1 plus C 2. So, V dash be the common potential across the capacitor. So, V 1 will become Q by C 
which is equal to C1 V by C1 plus C2. Okay. So, the correct answer is option number B. So, the final potential difference across each will be C1 V by C1 plus C2. Okay. Let us now move on to the next question. Two identical capacitors uh, C1 and C2 of equal capacitance are connected as shown in the circuit. Terminals A and B of the key K are connected to charge capacitors C1 using battery of EMF V volt. Now disconnecting A and B, the terminals B and C are connected. Due to this, what will be the percentage loss of energy? Okay. So initially, the energy stored is given by U is equal to half C V square. So when the terminals B and C are connected, C1 and C2 are connected in series with each other. So the energy dissipated on connecting switch across C2 will be del U is equal to half C1 C2 by C1 plus C2 the into V square. Okay. So this will become half C by 2 V square. Okay, because uh, C square by 2 C it will come, C and C will get cancelled. So, it will be half C, C by 2 V square. So, now you want percentage of percentage of loss of energy. So, the percentage loss of energy is given by del U by U into 100. Okay. So, del U is half C by 2 divided by half C V square into 100. So, this will get cancelled and this will also get cancelled. Okay. So, here uh, sorry this is uh, yeah, C will be there, C will be there. So, you will be getting C by 2 uh, here on V square is there. So, this V square and V square will get cancelled, half half will get cancelled and C and C will also will get cancelled. So, you will be getting 100 by 2 and the percentage of loss will be 50 percentage. Okay. Because uh, del U is half C by 2 V square and uh, U is half C V square. So, all the common terms will be cancelling with each other and finally, we will be having 100 by 2. So, the final answer will be the percentage of loss of energy will be 50 percentage. So, the correct answer is option number D. Okay. The next question is a capacitor is charged by a battery. The battery is removed and another identical uncharged capacitor is connected in parallel. The total electrostatic energy of resulting system increases by a factor of 4, decreases by a factor of 2, remains the same increases by a factor of 2. Okay. So, here again you are going to use the same formula where u is equal to half C V square and when you are having another capacitor is connected in parallel then the capacitance increases by a factor of 2 and the potential di difference becomes half. Okay. So, u dash will be half into 2C into V square by 2, V by 2 the whole square. Okay. So, if you solve this, you will be getting it as C V square by 4. So, which is equal to U by 2 because half C V square is U. So, the new U value U dash will be half of U. Okay. So, what happens is the total electrostatic energy decreases by a factor of 2. Okay. So, if you see here the total electrostatic energy of the resulting system is half of its initial. So, it is decreasing by a factor of 2. Okay. So, it is a very simple question making use of the formula of the energy 
half c v square u is equal to half c v square. Okay. Let us see the next question. A capacitor of 2 microfarad is charged as shown in the diagram. When the switch S is turned to position 2, the percentage of its storage energy dissipated is. So, here initially energy stored again u is equal to half C v square and uh, which is equal to half into 2 into v square because the capacitance value is 2 microfarad. So, you are putting it is. So, the energy dissipated on connecting the switch across is uh, 8 mu of okay across the 8 mu of will be del u is equal to half into C 1 C 2 by C 1 plus C 2 into v square. So, if you solve this you will be getting it as half into C 1 is 2 and C 2 is 8. So, 2 into 8 divided by 10 into v square. So, if you solve this you will be getting it as half into 1.6 the whole 1.6 into v square. Okay. Now, you want to find out the percentage of its loss of energy. So, percentage loss of energy is equal to del u by u into 100. So, this will be half into 1.6 v square divided by v square. So, if you solve this into 100 you will be having here and this will be 0.8. So, it is 80 percentage. Okay. So, the correct answer is option number B 80 percentage. The next question is uh, a series combination of uh, N 1 capacitors each of value C 1 is charged by a source of potential difference 4 V. When another parallel combination of N 2 capacitors each of value C 2 is charged by a source of potential difference V. It has the same total energy stored in it as the first combination has the value of C 2 in terms of C 1. Okay. So, here when connected in series you will be having the capacitance equivalent capacitance as C 1 by N 1 and V 1 is equal to 4 V. When they are connected in parallel equivalent capacitance C E Q is equal to N 2 C 2 and your V 2 value will be equal to V. So, the energy U is equal to half C V square and uh, here you will be having it as uh, half C equivalent 1 V 1 square is equal to half half C equivalent 2 V 2 square. Okay. So, you know what is the C equivalent 1 value? It is uh, C 1 by N 1 and V 1 is 4 V. Similarly, C equivalent 2 is N 2 C 2 and V 2 is equal to V. So, you are going to substitute there. So, both are equal. So, you will be getting half C equivalent 1 is C 1 by N 1 V 1 square is 4 V. So, it will become 16 V is equal to half N 2 C 2 V square. So, if you rearrange this you will be getting C 1 is equal to C 2 N 1 N 2 by 16. So, similarly C 2 will become 16 C 1 by N 1 N 2. Okay. So, the correct answer is option number D 16 C 1 N 1 N 2. Okay. Let us see the next question. 2 condensers one of capacity C and the other of capacity C by 2 are connected to a volt battery as shown in the figure. The work done in charging fully both the condenser is. So, here the C effective is given by C plus C by 2 which is equal to 3 C by 2. So, work done is equal to half into 3 C by 2 into V square. So, it will become 3 C v square by 4. So, the correct answer is option number C. Okay. 
So, let us now see the next question energy per unit volume for a capacitor having a area A and separation D kept at potential difference V is given by. So, here capacitance for a parallel plate capacitor will be C is equal to epsilon naught A by D. Also, the potential difference across the plates is V is equal to E D. So, E will be equal to V by D. So, the energy stored per unit volume for a capacitor is given by U is equal to half epsilon naught E square. So, which is equal to half epsilon naught V square by D square because E is equal to V by D. So, you are substituting it here. So, the correct answer is option number B sorry A half epsilon naught V square by D square. Okay. It is a very simple problem. Let us now see the next question. A parallel plate capacitor having cross sectional area A and separation D as air in between the plates. Now, an insulating slab of same area but thickness D by 2 is inserted between the plates as shown in the figure having dielectric constant K is equal to 4. So, the ratio of new capacitance to its original capacitance will be. Okay. So, here uh, what they are doing is the capacitance first you will be having C naught is equal to epsilon naught A by D. So, this is without dielectric and when you are inserting the dielectric the capacitance will be epsilon naught A by D minus T plus T by K. Okay. So, here they have given you the T value thickness is D by 2 and K value is 4. So, if you substitute it here what will happen is uh, this term will become uh, D 2 D by 2 and uh, it will become D by 2 D by 2. So, epsilon naught A by D by 2 by plus D by 8 because T is D by 2 and K is 4. So, you will be getting like this and when you solve this you will be getting it as 8 epsilon naught A by phi D. Okay. So, it is 8 by phi into C naught because epsilon naught A by D is C naught and uh, you will be getting C by C naught ratio as 8 by phi. Okay. So, the correct answer is option number C the ratio of C by C naught will be the ratio of the capacitance to its original capacitance will be 8 by 5. Okay. Let us see the next question. The capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with air as medium is 6 microfarad. With the introduction of a dielectric medium, the capacitance becomes 30 microfarad. The permittivity of the medium is. So, here let capacitance with air as medium C like medium B C. So, when R is the medium the capacitance the capacitance is C the capacitance is C and uh, when the capacitance with the dielectric medium is there we will take it as C dash. Okay. C dash is equal to K into C where K is the dielectric constant of the medium. So, we know that K is equal to C dash by C. So, which is equal to 30 by 6 because C dash is 30 and C is 6. So, we also know that K is equal to epsilon naught by epsilon naught. Okay. So, we want to find out epsilon naught. So, epsilon is equal to K into epsilon naught. So, it is 5 into 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 because they have given you the epsilon naught value. So, if you solve this you will be getting the epsilon value as 0 0.44 into 10 power minus 10 coulomb square Newton meter inverse Newton inverse meter inverse square. So, the correct answer is option number B 0 0.44 into 10 power minus 10. Okay. It is a very simple question. 
where you are finding out first the air capacitance and then you are finding out the capacitance with the dielectric medium and you are taking the ratio of that. Okay. Uh, let us now see the uh, next question. Uh, the electrostatic force between the metal plates of an isolated parallel plate capacitor C having a charge Q and area A is independent of the distance between the plates, linearly proportional to the distance between the plates, proportional to the square root of the distance between the plates, inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. So, here the electric field between the plates is given by E is equal to Q by epsilon naught A and the electrostatic force F is equal to Q E. So, which is equal to Q square by epsilon naught A. So, F is independent of the distance between the plates okay, because F is not uh, dependent between the distance between the plates. So, it is independent of the uh, distance between the plates. So, here the correct answer is option number A independent of the distance between the plates. The next question is a parallel plate condenser with oil between the plates dielectric constant of oil K is equal to 2 has a capacitance C. If the oil is removed then the capacitance of the capacitor becomes. Okay, So, here they are saying you are having two dielectric uh, like two capacitors in between you are keeping a dielectric medium uh, which is uh, oil and uh, they are asking you what will happen to the capacitance if the oil is removed. Okay. So, they have given the value of K as 2. So, here capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with dielectric medium between the plates is given by C is equal to epsilon naught K A by D. When you are removing the dielectric medium, the capacitance becomes C dash is equal to epsilon naught A by D. So, this is with dielectric and this is without dielectric ok. So, this is what the expression and uh, here they are given you k value as 2. So, this if you correlate these two you can write it as uh, uh, C dash is equal to C by k ok and here they are given you the C, C k value as 2. So, your C dash will become C by 2 ok. So, it is a very simple direct question, just you are going to make use of the uh, formula of the capacitance. So, when you have a dielectric medium in between the capacitance, your expression will be epsilon naught k a by d and when you do not have it will be epsilon naught a by d. So, when you compare these two, you will be getting c dash equal to c by k and the value of k is 2. So, the final answer is c by 2. So, when the cap uh, dielectric medium is removed, the capacitance will be c by 2. So, the correct answer is option number d. Okay, it is a direct simple question making use of the formula. Let us now see the next question. A parallel plate air capacitor is charged to a potential difference of volts. After disconnecting the charging battery, distance between the plates of the capacitor is increased using an insulating handle. As a result of the potential difference between the plates, what happens? Either decreases, increases, becomes 0 or does not change. Okay. So, here what they have given is uh, they have uh, uh, given a parallel uh, uh, plate air capacitor charged to a potential difference of volts. After disconnecting the charge battery and the distance between the two plates of the capacitor is increased using the insulating ladle, what will happen to the potential difference between the plates. Okay. So, we all know that V is equal to Q by C or uh, Q D by epsilon naught K into A because C is equal to epsilon naught A by D. So, you are substituting. So, if you see the V is directly proportional to the distance. So, here what they are saying is the distance between the capacitors plates is increased. So, you are increasing the distance since V is directly proportional to the D the potential difference between the plates also increases. So, the correct answer is option number B. Okay, V is equal to Q by C and C you know C is epsilon naught K A by D. Okay, so, that is what you are substituting it here and you will be getting Q D by epsilon naught K A. So, V is directly proportional to D. 
so when you are increasing the distance between the plates automatically the voltage also increases okay so the correct answer is option number b let us see the next question a 4 microfarad capacitor is charged to 400 volt if its plates are joined through a resistance of 2 kilo ohm then heat produced in the resistance is so here uh, what they are saying is uh, you are having a 4 microfarad uh, capacitor which is charged to 400 volts okay so you are charging the capacitor to 400 volts and uh, they are joined through a resistance of 2 kilo ohm then what will be the heat produced so we know that heat produced in resistance is equal to heat produced in resistance is equal to energy stored in capacitor okay so you will be having e is equal to half cv square and here they have given you the capacitance value as 4 microfarad and uh, the voltage value is 400 volt so energy will be given as half into 4 into 10 power minus 6 because it is microfarad into 400 whole square so when you solve this you will be getting it as half into uh, 400 the whole square you will be getting a, a value over there so 4 into you take it as uh, 16 into 10 power 4 okay so 10 power minus 6 into 16 into 10 power 4 so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so you will be getting the final value as 0 0.32 joule okay because 10 power minus 2 will come 16 into 2 is 32 so it is 0 0.32 joules so the energy or the heat produced is 0 0.32 joules so the correct answer is option number d since the heat produced in resistance equal to the energy stored in the capacitor uh, here they asked us to find out the heat produced okay since it is equal to the energy stored in the capacitor we are first trying to find out the energy using the formula e is equal to half cv square and you are substituting the values the given values will be getting the energy as 0 0.32 joule so the heat produced in resistance is 0 0.32 joules and the correct answer is option number d okay let us now see the next question a capacitor is charged with the battery and energy stored is u after disconnecting the battery another capacitor of the same capacity is connected in parallel to the first capacitor then the energy stored in each capacitor is so energy stored in the first capacitor will be u is equal to half cv square is equal to half q square by c when you are connecting another capacitor of same capacity is connected in parallel the potential difference across each capacitor remains the same but charge on each capacitor become q by 2 okay so the charge becomes half when you are trying to connect another capacitor of same capacity and but it is connected in parallel okay so your u dash will be half into q by 2 the whole square by c so when you solve this you will be getting it as 1 by 4 or 1 by 2 q square by c into 1 by 4 and uh, you know half into q square by c is u okay so it is 1 by 4 u so here you have u no so u dash is equal to u by 4 so the correct answer is option number b okay so first u is equal to half cv square you're going to substitute and uh, you are uh, equating it with the uh, half uh, that is uh, energy of the first uh, capacitor half q square uh, by c and you are doing it for the second where the charge becomes q by 2 so you're substituting and you are finding out uh, the energy stored in each capacitor which is equal to u by 4 the next question is a parallel plate air capacitor has capacity c distance of separation between the plates is d and potential difference v is applied between the plates force of attraction between the plates of the parallel plate air capacitor is so here uh, they want us to calculate the force uh, 
between the plates of the capacitor. So generally force is given by F is equal to QE and uh, uh, E is given as sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Okay, so this will become Q by 2 A epsilon naught. So this will be Q into Q by 2 A epsilon naught. So F will become Q square by 2A epsilon naught and uh, we know that Q is equal to C into V. So F will become uh, C square V square by 2A epsilon naught okay and uh, we also know that C is equal to A K epsilon naught by D and uh, if it's uh, since they are given it as air medium the dielectric constant will become 1 so c will become a epsilon naught by d okay so you are substituting here a epsilon naught by d the whole square into v square by 2a epsilon naught okay so here you can take only for one c and you can have another c over here okay so, automatically what will happen is uh, this component k will become equivalent to 1. So, uh, A, epsilon naught will get cancelled with each other and you will be getting the force as Cv square by 2D. Okay. So, the force between the two plates will be Cv square by 2D. So, the correct answer is option number C, Cv square by 2D. Okay, let us move on to the next question. Two parallel metal plates having charges plus q and minus q face each other at a certain distance between them. If the plates are now dipped in kerosene oil tank, the electric field between the plates will become zero, increase, decrease, or remains same. Okay, so here uh, initially the electric field in vacuum is given by E naught is equal to sigma by epsilon naught and in a particular medium E is equal to sigma by epsilon naught k. So here if k is greater than 1 then E will be lesser than E naught. So here what happens is the electric field between the plates will decrease. So the correct answer is option number C. So, the electric plates or the electric field between the uh, plates will decrease. So, as you can see, since the dielectric constant is greater than 1, E will be lesser than E naught. Okay, it is also a very simple uh, question. So, let us now move on to the next question. Uh, so, two thin uh, Dielectric slabs of uh, dielectric constants K1 and K2, where K1 is lesser than K2, are inserted between plates of a parallel plate capacitor as shown in the figure. The variations of electric field E between the plates with the distance D as measured from plate P is correctly shown by. So, they, they are asking in which graph is exactly showing the condition. So, here uh, electric field inside parallel plate capacitor having charge Q at place where dielectric is absent will be given by E is equal to Q by A epsilon naught and when dielectric is present E will be Q by K A epsilon naught. So here if you see the variation of E is uh, depicted very clearly by graph C okay where uh, uh, you are having a uh, increase in the dielectric constant for a particular separation. So the correct answer is uh, option number C okay because the electric field inside the parallel plate capacitor having a charge Q at a place where dielectric is absent will be given by Q by A epsilon naught and when a dielectric is present automatically what happens is the electric field will vary so it is clearly given by graph number C okay let us now move on to the next question a parallel plate capacitor of area A, plate separated D 
and capacitance C is filled with four dielectric materials having dielectric constants K1, K2, K3 and K4 as shown in the figure. If a single dielectric material is to be used to have the same capacitance in this capacitor, then the dielectric constant K is given as. So, here uh, they are given capacitors and it can be considered as a combination of capacitors as shown here. So, you will be having like this C1, in between you will be having C2 and here you will be having C3 and here you will be having C4. Okay, so this is C1, C2, C3 and C4. Now, here C1 capacitance is given as epsilon naught K1 A by 3 divided by D by 2 and C2 is given by epsilon naught K2 A by 3 D by 2 and C3 is given by epsilon naught K3 A by 3 D by 2 and C4 is given by epsilon naught K4 A by 3 divided by D by 2. Okay. So, as shown in the figure, you know the total capacitance Cp will be C1 plus C2 plus C3. Okay. So, you will be getting this total capacitance. If you just substitute, you will be getting it as 2 epsilon naught A by 3D K1 plus K2 plus K3. Okay. And uh, you know that this overall capacitance is in parallel to the C4. So, you will be getting 1 by CSS, 1 by Cp plus 1 by C4. So, if you solve this, you will be getting it as uh, two by K equal to three by K one plus K two plus K three plus one by K four. Okay, because this side you will be having CSS D by epsilon naught K. So this will be D by epsilon naught K. So that's what you will be getting it here. And you are going to substitute here and you know what is the Cp value and C4 value. If you just substitute, you will be getting the final value as 2 by k is equal to 3 by k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus 1 by k4. So, the correct answer is option number C. Okay. So, with this, uh, I think uh, uh, we have covered all the major topics for the particular unit called capacitors. So, as I was saying you, the majority of questions were coming from energy stored in a capacitor and capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with and without dielectric medium between the plates. So, try to concentrate on these two particular topics so that you will be able to answer uh, problems coming from these particular topics uh, within a, a fraction of seconds or you can easily solve it by just applying the formula. So, I wish you all all the best for your exam. And uh, I hope this video would have been useful for you to revise this particular unit called capacitors. So, thank you for watching this video.